and you can take it out. We have a few parasitic plants and vines. Of them, the one you see here is known as the tree killer vine, Spatholobus parviflora. Well, this is a very good specimen of the vine killing the tree. Like you see, this is part of the tree that has already been killed. And now it has gone up to another tree. Well, these are a few nesting holes of the bird that we call woodpecker. They often build their nest upon the salt tree and they build their nest quite high, at least about five to eight meters from the bottom. And they feed on the termites and insects. The termites, they build this mound by pushing the earth right from the inside. They live about three to four feet deep beneath the ground. And they feed on the tree. They are also the staple food of the slot bear. When the slot bear comes, he breaks the mound, buries half its body inside, and suck up all the termites like a vacuum cleaner. The pug mark of a male tiger is more round in shape than that of the female. The tigress's pug mark is much tapered more pointed. From the back of an elephant, a visitor in the Royal Chitwan National Park can enjoy viewing the special wildlife found here in this area. As we go through the jungle and across the rivers, we may be lucky enough to even see a rhinoceros. Riding our trained Asian elephants is adventure in itself. They sway back and forth and don't hesitate to gather some food as they eat over 600 pounds of vegetation a day. As they lumber along, we anxiously watch for one of the 400 endangered rhinoceroses that can be found in this protected area. As you see, the footprint of a rhino. They are very territorial animal and strictly vegetarian in diet. They like to hang around in cool, shady place, especially where the grass is very tall. And they'd like to stay in water most of the time because their skin is very thick and dark, absorbs a lot of heat, so they need to stay by the water for some time. We hate to leave, but as evening approaches, we head for the island jungle resort in the middle of the Narayani River, where we rest and then join local tribals in a dancing feast. <laughs> In the morning, we travel to yet another river for a different perspective on these powerful waters. Nepal provides some exciting outdoor adventures, including river rafting with modern safe equipment and trained guides. I'm going to join Amtur Vacations on a trip down the Trishuli River. Surya Joshi, Managing Director with Wilderness River Treks explains. First of all, welcome to Nepal for river rafting in the wilderness river tracks. This river name is the Trusli. The river is starting from the Lantang, Mount Lantang, and after this river go to the India. Now this starting point from river is the Tisning. This call name is the Tisning. And before river rafting, I give for the helmet and life jacket and paddle. This river rafting is the very safety and some rapid and some the calm water also. And some people, they are river rafting in the three, four hours. Some they are doing for the two days and three days. And when the two days and three days, I provide for the camping equipment and lunch and breakfast and dinner. Hello, Nancy. Please join us, our company for the wilderness table trips. You take, you take in river rafting for the fun and entertainment and enjoy yourself. First, we watch the kayakers take off. And then we practice a few turns so we can work as a team and be prepared for the challenging rapids ahead. We quickly head downstream and into the exhilarating flow of the Trisuli River. The Trisuli is named after the Fort Trident belonging to the deity Shiva and is a popular tourist rafting destination. With the world's highest mountains and deepest river gorges, good rafting in Nepal is almost guaranteed. 
Its rivers drop over 300 meters for a distance of 240 kilometers, or about 148 miles. That creates lots of water moving downhill very fast. There's a variety of methods used to cross the rivers. And the more courageous souls don't mind improvising. Approximately six rivers have been explored to be raftable, and tourists can run anywhere from one day to 10 days in the more remote areas. We are given ample opportunity to go ashore to visit river villages and explore the sandy riverbeds with local children. In contrast to trekking the trail, a rafting trip is a great way to explore a large area in a short time. We've stopped here for lunch and settle in for yet another delicious meal cooked to order with an incredible blend of herbs and spices prepared to suit our tastes. Before we know it, we're on the river again and finishing up the rafting trip with a slightly calmer ride. After a few days traveling the country, we are ready to relax and settle in to the comfortable first-class accommodations waiting for us at our next stop. My name is Daman Pradhan. The Shangala village uh, is a small hotel, 65 rooms. Uh, and it's the first hotel in Pokhara that has not just the basic uh, bedroom and in, 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 in a small kitchen, but most of the amenities that you'd be looking for to be comfortable, uh, even in a place like Pokhara. We've got uh, anything or everything you can think of uh, in a room. We've got air conditioning, centrally air conditioned rooms. We have two restaurants one coffee shop, a pool bar, a swimming pool, uh, a beauty parlor and a health club, uh, a massage parlor, a sauna and a, a steam bath. And uh, it's not only trekking, but it's not even uh, mostly the natural beauties of, of Pokhara and the surrounding areas that attract people from all over the world. Pashrandra Mantresta, Director General of Nepal's Department of Tourism, and R.R. R. Pandey, Executive Vice Chairman of Everest Air and Everest Express, describe tourist opportunities. So they can have the breakfast in the tropical jungle, they can have the lawns in the middle hills, they can have the dinner at the highest altitude of 13,000 feet. And tourism is very important for the Nepalese economy. Nepal is not a very rich country, it's a rather poor country. But even though it's poor, for tourists, there are amenities available of all class standards. We have got five star hotels, we have got uh, airlines, it's both in domestic and international, up to international standards. We have got uh, products available for sale. For tourists, we have got amenities that are matchable to anybody in the world. Some of these amenities include a world class conference center near the center of the capital. Where do we visit the towns? the city squares, the rural villages, the jungles, or the mountain hillsides. The people are friendly and they welcome us everywhere. It's obvious they want us to enjoy Nepal as much as we want to. And we want to thank our wonderful guides and hosts. As I leave Nepal, I look forward to returning to enjoy seeing more of the beautiful scenery, incredible wildlife, and delightful people. Do visit Nepal and enjoy their hospitality. And for viewers who would like more information, at the end of the credits, we will have an address and phone number on screen. We love to hear from you, so please call or write. And be sure to join us again for another edition of Eco News, your best source of current environmental news that affects you and your future. On behalf of our nonprofit organization, Educational Communications, thank you for your support. I'm Nancy Perlman, wishing you a natural, unspoiled environment. Ram Chandra ka das thi pancho uti banna surpana ka aayi puki kura gundai manna swatna thali Ram Chandra lai thi mi ko banna kina bharman gor uaga gor jungal banna banna lagi surpana ka le Ram Chandra ka nadi kai broye ra. Bantu pati timi laya jo shiva gar su safi maroyera. Banna lagi Ram Chandra le mere chandai chana. Mera bhai lochu malai jau boru bana. 
भन्न लागी सुर्पण खाल छु मन लाई मलाई बिए गर्छौ तिमीले भन्छन् तिरा दाइ भन्न लागे ल छु मन्जीले यस्तो कुरा मसँग नगर सुर्पण खा पूर्वी त भएर दारा किरी विसले कर भजौ भजौ राम का नाम पछि अन्ति लाग्नु छै काम भजौ भजौ राम का नाम